Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. In this upload I'd like to talk about the more advanced features of Excel particularly the use of the IF statement. The IF statement when used in a formula tests a cell, shows us a result if the test is true and if the test is not true it shows me the result if the test is false. Now in the exercises that we'll be looking at the first one will check whether I need to show an action text down here depending on the amount the due date and how many days to pay. In action 2 I decide whether I need to send a collection notice or just take urgent action. In the second exercise down here we have some examination results. Uh, I want to see uh, if the mark falls within a range of gradings. Uh, zero of course would fail dismally, anything less than or equal to 50 uh, would be a fail um, and I will also look at setting the parameters for uh, pass, credit or distinction. So let's have a look down here in the very first exercise. The conditions are these. Action 1 up here tests for two conditions. If the days to pay are less than or equal to zero then show overdue. Otherwise if the days to pay are less than or equal to seven show reminder. But if neither of those are true then show nothing as we see in this particular case. Action 2 tests for two conditions but we'll, as we'll see we'll test for two conditions that need to be true. In other words if the days to pay are less than or equal to zero and the amount is greater than 5000 show urgent action otherwise show collection notice. So let's look at the formula. Up here in the formula bar in cell E5 I do my if statement and I say if D5 is less than or equal to zero then show the word overdue. The second if statement remembering that if statements require three arguments never more never less each if statement requires three arguments so now if that was not true there if d5 less than or equal to zero if that wasn't true then move on to the next if statement and say if d5 is less than or equal to seven then show me the word reminder otherwise show me nothing so let's see how I got these results here. I copied the formula down there and it tested here in this cell for example. Is D6 less than 0? So in D6 is it less than 0? Well it is, it's minus 14. Therefore show me the word overdue. Don't worry about moving on to the next uh, if statement. The same thing occurs here in, uh, in cell D7. If D7 is less than or equal to 0, it is equal to 0, then again show me the word overdue. Don't move on to the second if statement. But the next one here in D8, if D8 is less than or equal to 0, which it is not, don't show the word overdue because that is not true. But if D8 is less than or equal to 7, which it is, then show me the word reminder. The third argument in that if statement says nothing, two double quotes together. And that is what applies here in D9. So if D9 is less than or equal to 0, which it is not, then we don't need to see the word overdue. Therefore, if D9 is less than or equal to 7, which it is not, therefore that is not true, then show me nothing. 
the two double quotes together. And that's how that particular set of, of um, formulas work. Now, in action two, it tests for two conditions. It says also that for two conditions must be true. In other words, if the days to pay are less than or equal to zero and the amount is greater than 5,000, then show urgent action. Otherwise, show collection notice. So let's look at this formula here. If and these two things are true, if D5 is less than or equal to zero and B5 is greater than 5,000, then show the word urgent action. Well, let's see if that's the case. Because remember, both of these conditions using the AND statement need to be true. Is D5 less than or equal to zero? No. Therefore, that test is not met. Therefore, we will not see urgent action. If D5 is less than zero, which it is not, we will not see collection notice we will see nothing because the test was not true. D5 was not less than uh, or equal to zero. Let's look at the next one down. If D6 here is less than or equal to zero and B6 is greater than 5,000 or well, neither of those are true uh, well, sorry, uh, uh, one of them is not true, therefore it will not show urgent action, it will move to the next if statement. And here it says if D6 is less than or equal to zero, then show collection notice, which is exactly what it does. And we can go down and look at the other formulas and we'll see that the tests are carried out in exactly the same way. Let's go down here to this one, urgent action. If D10 is less than or equal to zero and B5 is greater than 5,000, then both of those conditions are true. Therefore, show me urgent action and don't move on to the next if statement. So that's how it works. Remember that the if statement always requires three arguments and I have simply nested an AND statement uh, to as the test for the first argument in the first IF statement. Let's move on to the next one. This one's a little more complicated because we're going to test for a number of conditions here. And <clears throat> in this cell, the formula says if B4, the mark, is less than or equal to E5, which is 50, then show me what is in F4, which is the word fail. But if that's not the case, if B4 is less than or equal to E6, that is the number 70, then show me what is in F5, which is the word pass. Otherwise, if that's not the case, if B4 is less than or equal to E7, that is 90, then show me what is in F6, which is the word credit. Otherwise, show me what is in F7. So the conditions are these. If the mark is less than or equal to 50, then show the word fail, that is, what is in F4. But if the mark is less than or equal to 70, then show the word pass, which is what is in F5. But if that's not the case, if the mark is less than or equal to 90, then show the word credit, which is in F6. But if that's not the case, then show distinction, which is in F7. So the logic of that uh, takes a little bit of uh, understanding, a little bit of penny drop, but once you get the knack of these nested if statements, 
you can test for more than one condition because one if statement on its own will just test for is one condition true or false and show me the result depending on the on the test so I can move through and add uh, extra if statements bear in mind that when you get to uh, um, a number of if statements maybe six or seven or so the formula becomes very very uh, tricky to uh, to follow and uh, you may well consider uh, something like a VLOOKUP which would uh, enable um, results to be shown in the same in the same way but that's another story a lot of people do like to use the advanced Excel techniques of nested if statements remember to subscribe folks uh, where you will see many more uh, Excel uh, exercises on our channel and uh, we also like likes and comments if you'd care to leave them uh, thank you so much for watching hope to see you again